Hi, I'm Eric Stoll. And I'm Chase Whiteside, and we're the co-directors of America. America tells the story of three brothers who come together to care for their 93-year-old grandmother, America, after their father's in prison under accusations of uh, mistreating her. There's so much to say about the scene. When we filmed this scene, I'd already been staying with them for several days and had gotten to know America a little bit and seen Diego and her together. But this was, I think, the first time I really filmed with America. And so it was the first time I got to appreciate her and Diego, her youngest grandson, not as just people, but as on-screen characters, right? And the first time I really got to just be an observer in their relationship. And I remember as soon as I like shot the scene and saw the footage, I really felt like, wow, like this I should stay here and we should make a film. And I remember I sent the footage to Chase. He wasn't in Mexico with me at the time. And it was like, you know, Chase, what do you think? I just filmed this. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's, it's amazing. You know, the first footage that a viewer sees of America is the same exact scene that I first saw. Yeah, it is this. ¿Qué me dices? Buenos días. Ah, buenos días, hijo. Having seen this scene now like 5,000 times or something, I'm amazed to still be moved by these subtle like gestures of care of Diego towards America, the way that he tries to brush her hair out of out of her face and she's like, oh, your hands are cold. And I'd never seen that kind of cross-generational intimacy and I'd never seen someone who in many respects is also very masculine to be so tender and caring. ¿Quién crees que soy yo? ¿Quién crees que soy? ¿Que tú eres? Sí. <laughs> it's interesting, I think, because at one point he says, do you know who I am? And it's clear she doesn't. She just makes some jokes. You know, she's got strategies to try and deflect. One of the challenges as filmmakers was that we were filming with someone who couldn't meaningfully give consent to a long-term project. America suffered from dementia. And so as filmmakers, that puts the ball in our court to really make sure that we are constantly renewing her participation in the project. It was really important for us to be upfront about those challenges with the viewer, right? And so that's why in this very first scene where America is introduced, she looks at the camera, she addresses, you know, the audience almost, but really addresses me as the camera person. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> ¿Y qué está haciendo? Grabando. Grabando qué? Todo lo que hacemos. Y decimos. <laughs> ¿Y por qué? Porque eres una estrella. Ah. <laughs> estrellada. <laughs> una estrella estrellada. <laughs> I think there's some misconception sometimes with people with dementia that they cease to be themselves, that they no longer have preferences or opinions and can't express them. But from the moment we met America, her overflowing personhood and humanity was really quite evident to us. We were oftentimes filming and working in kind of Diego's view of the world. You know, he never viewed America as just someone to be taken care of. He spoke to her and treated her with the fullness of humanity that we would grant anyone. And it was through that lens that we did try to capture her and make it less about the things that she required and more about the things that she offered. <laughs> <laughs>